Were there farm salmon? There are vampires. Not real vampires, but tiny blood-sucking crustaceans known as sea lice. Sea lice might look small, but they do big damage. They feed on the skin, blood, and mucus of salmon. Their bite marks leave behind open wounds that make fish vulnerable to infection. Just a few can weaken an adult salmon or kill a baby one. Sea lice are common on adult wild salmon, but the infection is short-lived. As the adults swim upstream to spawn, the sea lice fall off. This natural process keeps the parasites from infecting the next generation of fish as they head out to sea. But it's a different story on salmon farms. Overcrowded pens are a paradise for parasites. To combat lice, farmers use an arsenal of weapons. Some, like lice-munching lumpsucker fish, are harmless. Others, like pesticides, antibiotics, and hydrogen peroxide, can hurt the surrounding environment and other animals. Sea lice develop resistance to these chemicals, so farmers have to use more and more each year. When juvenile wild salmon swim past fish farms, they can pick up lice from their captive cousins. Sea lice and all the chemicals used to combat these tiny vampires are another reason to think twice about farmed salmon.